and 3B Productions, Les Mis, directed by, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, the, the Wizard of the Northwest, Joe Barton. Produced by Nancy Brown. You don't usually adjudicate and they can get at you from all sides. <laughs> so I'm going to come over here. Um, the, certainly it's, it's always a pleasure to see something that's so iconic and that we have all come to appreciate and, and know about over the years. And um, to have the privilege to, to see this with this many people on the stage in one place is really a remarkable achievement and you're to be greatly commended for that, for sure. I, I hazard to say that this is one of the excerpts where we didn't see a lot of the elements that you probably had in it in your home production in terms of staging and some of those kinds of components that, that might have... Oh, okay, all right. So that, that, then I'm going to say something here because I think that there's an opportunity, even when you have this many people on the stage, to create some different kinds of visual pictures by creating more specific groupings on the stage. If you are, in fact, not going to use a great deal of... A setting and pieces. I thought very successful when you had the young lovers down here and the father and so on because you created a different type of visual interest. When you're moving this many people around the stage it's okay for some of them to go and stay in a certain place, create a backdrop for you and then for others to create the action in front. I really liked the intensity of all of these performers. I thought that you were all in the moment, you were part of what was going on here, irrespective of the size of the, the, the role that you were playing. And I think that by taking that and, and using that type of intensity, you can create some stage pictures and some interest on the stage that will, in fact, enhance this. I thought it was musically very secure. You worked extremely hard on particularly all this huge choral singing, taking a rather operatic line here, which is very difficult to do. It's not a style that we're used to or that we sing in very often, even in musical theater in this day and age. Um, I think you can afford to break these costumes down a little bit. We've got lots of dirt on the faces of the young people and the, the students, but I think the rest, you don't look poor enough for this. And I think the students can afford to look a little a little shabbier as well, because they are, in fact, in that way. And then it gives us a bigger contrast, even, between the, 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 the two natures. The, you guys are hilarious and really <laughs> committed to your performances, and that's wonderful. Each of these performances were very committed. The Young Lovers, I thought there were some beautiful moments here with Cosette. Uh, Ipini, a shawl gives you something. Where are you? That gives you something to move with more, so that you've got, you can show some anxiety and you can show some perhaps some nature of her, rather than having the stillness all the time, which I think would help you a little bit. But a lovely performance, a beautiful singing voice. And what more can I say when you've only got three minutes to talk about 30,000 things? <laughs> oh, that Victor Huber, he was a laugh riot, wasn't he? <laughs> Uh, when you think of the, the scope and epic portions of this, this novel that was made into a musical, it's, it's, it's so awe-inspiring. And uh, the, who, who's the director? Director? Thank you very, very much. What an awe-inspiring feat to bring something like this to a festival. And is there anybody left in your hometown at all? <laughs> There, there's a conference. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for your commitment to this piece of theater. Uh, from everybody, uh, there, there's a tremendous commitment to make this work beautifully. If you go on to another, an, another venue, I hope that you'll think about expanding the piece itself so that you can give yourself some more, um, some more scope to what you're already doing. Uh, uh, I really appreciated that you did not come up with some set that you had to try to move around. Your characters, your actors became set pieces. And I think you could work with that even more so that they could become more of the set behind their actors. You might think of putting some risers up, especially if you're in a, in a uh, theater that is this small so that we can get to see everybody who's on stage and get to see their faces. 
uh, some, some boxes even, uh, uh, but something so that we can get some different levels going on. I think that would be a wonderful thing. Uh, where's the young boy, the young man? Thank you so much. You proved that uh, commitment, even in someone your age, to a part is one, a wonderful thing to see. I work a little bit on diction, but other than that, you did a you were committed from the very minute you walked on stage when you did your sound check. From all the way through. Thank you. Again, uh, there was a beautiful scene uh, between uh, Epony and Marius and Cosette. Uh, uh, that with the with the gate separating them. Thank you for slanting that gate instead of running it straight across. Um, that was very nice, a very nice scene. And what proves in a in in musical theater like this that there is drama, and that's what drives pieces like this is the drama. Thank you very much. And before I'm done, I want to say thank you so much to all the people backstage throughout this whole festival. Thank you. A show, any show without those folks working very hard. And also thank you to the tech people running the, the lights and sound. And I want to thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart, even the timer, for uh, <laughs> no, 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 for all your for all your commitment to make this Ohio Festival so wonderful and such a great experience. And thank you, Lay Miz, for bringing this effort to us. Do you hear? Yes, we heard it. We heard it. We loved the passion of it. It was terrific. Um, there was some real great commitment when you have so many people on stage. It was a pleasure to see that every one of you were in the scenes. And none of you took a moment off. And I was watching. So for all of you, it was great. Where's the young man? Can you stand up on your chair there? Great attitude to sell it. And you did. You had a definite attitude, you weren't lost on the stage, you commanded the scene, you had presence. Thank you. Good direction. Thank you. Through all of this, I guess I'm not real sure where to stand. Through all of this, uh, it's uh, great to, uh, to remember that there's a large love story going on in this uh, play. And uh, Ipanin, um the looks on your face, and your posture with those songs, it was very telling. We got an awful lot of your emotion uh, with that and your caring about Marius and what all of that meant with you. And in those uh, nice scene uh, at, with all of the fence and stuff, it was just beautiful for all four of those that were there. The father, the uh, cassette, um, it was just great. Where's uh, Jalbert? Yep. Yep, stand up, stand up, Jalbert, yeah. Um, this is, um, you know, it's easy to take a role like that and, um, and just mimic and not make it your own. And uh, you made it your own. And uh, you had a terrific commitment with it as well. And we could see that as... One minute. Oh, good. I have some time. All right. And where's the, uh, in the, um, the time is near the, the drunk, uh, the drunk guy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I like to point out some individuals because, oh, don't sit down already. Because, um, it's a, it's a picture of the whole, uh, uh, the whole group of you, the, Where'd you find all these guys who can sing? Um, but what you did as the drunk, what you did as the drunk without going overboard was really nice. You had to, you had to work at that to find a level that we understood to, to do that. 
And that attention to detail that you exhibited in that was with a whole bunch of everybody on stage, and it was really appreciated, and that type of attention to all of the characters that the directors and all the crew and everybody has to work with, <laughs> that everybody has to work with, is, 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 really, is really quite an accomplishment with all of these folks. And uh, thank you, Timer. Thank you, Dan and company over there and backstage folks. Thanks.